So what happens is that these devices become hugely activating. And as a result, they essentially will be a mute button on your sleepiness. So you could be there, you get into bed, it's 11 p.m. You think, I am so tired. I was falling asleep on the, the, the couch watching television. And then you get into bed, you start going onto social media, and then you start doom scrolling, and then you get into this, what we call bed rotting, where you just sit there. And now you look at the clock, and it's no longer 11 p.m., it's 1 a.m. And you've just done sleep procrastination. Now, it turns out that it's, yes, that, that these are attention grabbing devices that will mute your sleepiness. But you have to be of a certain personality type, he found. Not all of us are vulnerable to this sleep disruption of devices. You have to be someone who is perhaps neurotic, someone who has high impulsivity, or someone who is perhaps high anxious. If you are of any of those kinds, you should be really careful about your use of technology in the bedroom. Now, for me to you know sit here and say, look, put your phone in the car, in the garage, and that way, you know, that's what I would love. 